that there are many words of British public associates with Boris Johnson's premiership. Chaos, parties, lies, shambles, scandals. Well, they all spring to mind. The word honour is definitely not one of them, even though he remains the right honourable gentleman. Few people have done more to dishonour the high office he held and the country he was supposed to serve. Johnson lied to the Queen and to Parliament. He bungled the pandemic, partying his way through half of it. He spent fortunes on golden wallpaper. He defended his disgraced cronies at every turn. And he did it all with a carefree, gurning grin and the sartorial elegance of a scarecrow. There can't be many people in British politics less qualified to adjudicate on honour, which is why it's frankly disgraceful that he's being allowed to move ahead with his personal resignation honours list. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who's in Washington, D.C. tonight, is about to wade through Johnson's gongs and peerages for his cronies and mates and, apparently, even his father, if he can get away with it. And, unsurprisingly, Sunak's not that keen to talk about this. I can completely understand the interest in this topic, but all I can say is there's a, a process that is currently underway. It hasn't concluded yet, and until it does, it wouldn't be right for me to comment any further. Yeah, but it's a process that I don't agree with, and nor do most people. It should be a very, very short process, to which the answer is a rapid no. Liz Truss, who was outlasted by a lettuce, shouldn't even think about nominating anybody either, but she will. If you resign in shame and disgrace, dishonourably, as Boris Johnson does, did, and Liz Truss did, why should you be able to then hand out honours? Isn't that just one final insult to the public? One last log on the giant bonfire of all things decent that raged through this terrible time at the top? I think it is.